structure is, is wrong it's because I believe when people are closer to the, the people who are administering over an area that they have more power and that kind of more centralizes control in Lansing when you start splitting up um, otherwise politically powerful entities are more local okay and then duplicating the government services as well between we don't need more layers of government right yeah and you uh, Detroit would have to start forming all its own different county uh, offices and things like that you'd have your separate clerk uh, you'd have your separate um, you know sheriff you'd have you'd have a duplication of everything going on so I, I, when I saw that in the paper I was sort of surprised by it and I didn't think that it uh, you know that was tr- uh, it was discussed decades ago, and and really rejected. And I, I'm sorry to see that it was brought up again. On the phone, we have uh, with us uh, uh, Commissioner Willie uh, Burton, Police Commissioner Willie uh, Burton. Willie, welcome to doing? the show. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Scotty. Yeah. And um, you know Tom's here with us as well, and we might as well jump a little bit into it. Uh, do we uh, know? Uh, any more, or you want to give us some background first, Willie, on uh, the uh, situation where the city of Detroit, uh, the police department, now is looking at getting into the towing business. There's been a lot of controversy with uh, towing in the city. There's no doubt about that. And it's uh, always been done by private um, entre- uh, private companies, private entrepreneurs that have been uh, doing it. And now there's been a recommendation. I know you voted against it, but I think it was a 72 vote, if I remember of uh, implementing, of having the city uh, Detroit Police Department actually get into the towing business and, and doing it. It seemed to catch the Detroit City Council by surprise. There was some pushback on that at a council meeting. In fact, uh, George Hunter wrote an article that uh, the headline is, City Council Accuses the Detroit Police of Plotting Towing Takeover. And they sort of challenged and said, during the budget hearings, you didn't really bring up that you had uh, uh, tow trucks that you were buying to actually get into the business. Uh, with that, and it 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 caused some tension uh, apparently in that committee meeting that uh, that was occurring. So, can you give us some background about what's going on on this, Willie? Absolutely. You know, it is just uh, preposterous. You know, to see that um, just recently the Detroit Water Police Commissioners just approve uh, towing, uh, you know, permits uh, for tours. You know. Um, Tours, you know, uh, you know, uh, when they go through the whole process of trying to get into rotation and things of that nature to do business here in the city of Detroit, they have to get towing permits. And those towing permits are usually approved by the Detroit Board of Police Commissioners, and they're good for five years. Uh, the board just recently uh, weighed in and approved uh, towing permits within the past year. Um, it haven't even been a solid year. And then to hear that the city of Detroit went into touring business. I mean, it's just straight up, you know, um, smells funny. You know, um, I don't know what is more dirtier. Well, Detroit, were you brought uh, in? Were you brought in to the discussion, or was the, I should say the police commission? Were they brought into the discussion, or I mean, at, at some point somebody had to make a proposal and and say that they wanted to go with this, and somebody had to discuss had to have had discussion with Detroit PD to say. Okay, uh, because they, they, from what I understand, they've already started buying trucks. They bought six or seven trucks already, towing trucks. You know, absolutely. You know, um, it seems like there's been a lot of discussions going on uh, where commissioners uh, were not uh, in the loop, didn't know what was going on. You know, it's, it's funny when you have a chair and a vice chair, you know, that um, – you know, that uh, have meetings with the mayor and do not have any minutes, um, you know, as far as discussions from those meetings and don't report back to the board. So this caught all of us by surprise. I mean, it definitely caught, caught uh, me by surprise. And to see that this was uh, something that they was trying to push on the agenda and add to the agenda and push it on the agenda and go for a media vote. I mean, I couldn't help but vote no on this, Bob. I mean, you know, this, this sounds it sounds dirty. I mean, I don't know what sounds more dirty, trying to sneak in something to allow the city of Detroit to enter um, the towing business or, or the Flint water. I mean, you know, when something is dirty, it's dirty. And uh, you, you definitely uh, haven't heard the last about uh, 
plateauing here in the city of Detroit. I mean, but, it's just... Um, Commissioner, I, I know that one of the concerns about the towing contract is, unfortunately, that's been the center of a lot of uh, uh, criminal probes and, and investigations by uh, the federal authorities, such as the FBI. And they've said that, uh, in fact, uh, Fiorella, who... Uh, who uh, just went to uh, Fiora, uh, just went to uh, prison with his uh, towing contracts. Uh, he not only was active in Detroit, but he was active throughout Macomb County and a lot of places, apparently, that he was doing. And, and, and I think Detroit PD is saying, well, this is our reaction to trying to make sure that those type of practices uh, don't come into existence here. You know, I would say that uh, Detroit Police Department should not be um, – um, and, you know, entering in, into the towing um, um, business whatsoever. Um, you know, the Detroit Police Department has enough, uh, you know, problems of its own trying to uh, curb uh, Detroit violence, which Detroit is still one of the most violent cities in America, you know, um, and, um, you know, and um, and how are they going to continue to, you know, uh, make ensure that residents are safe, you know, that living in the neighborhood. I think Detroit Police Department has enough on his hands, and I think uh, this towing is uh, is uh, definitely, um, um, is, you know, you know, doesn't, you know, I think this towing situation, I think this is a big problem, and I think that I I rather see our fo- our officers, I rather see our officers focus more on patrolling. You know, and focus more on cur- curving violence. I don't, you know, I, you know. So therefore, um, you know, um, you know, I, I had to vote no on this, Bob. You know, as far as uh, our officers entering to the towing business, um, you know, I, I just think that. Do, do we know how it's really supposed to be set up yet, and who's be accountable for how the contract rotation? I mean, having been sheriff, I know that. Um, the rotation is supposed to, uh, you know, you're supposed to make a phone call, you're supposed to see uh, the uh, the towing company that's supposed to go out and, and do it. And the Detroit PD, from what I understand, has said, well, the, they're, they're the towing company of last resort, so I'm not sure if they run through the whole cycle of private towers and then say, oh, come in and do the, you know, do they get jump, do they jump in front of other towers? I mean, the whole thing hasn't been worked out yet. And I'll tell you what, Willie, we're getting some calls on this. John, John, you're on with Bob Ficano. And uh, our guests here today. Uh, good morning, Bob. I good morning. Heard, I tell I tell people vote no on every ballot proposal because all this does is make elected politicians lazy. These are special interest groups that bring out these ballot proposals, and they're getting paid by somebody, and we don't know who they are. I say vote no on every proposal in November. So I got Bob. Okay, John, real quick, real quick, real quick, and I know we're talking about the towing and stuff like that. Uh, what do you see happening with the uh, Kavanaugh situation? He's going to be, he's going to get on the court. You know, hey, Bob, this is, Bob, I'll tell you what, I could never be a judge. I was graduating in 1976. You went back on to me, I'm guilty. I'll throw it up. I, that's it. <laughs> that's my you know, that's all. <laughs> I did it, and you probably did too. I think that, that there's a new standard that's being set of how far back they're going and what what's going to be examined and everything else. It's going to be uh, it's going to be uh, fascinating how this turns out. I don't think the FBI investigation, unless they uncover something dramatic, is going to change because they do not actually come to conclusions about who they think is telling Bob, truth or know, anything like that. What they actually do is just take statements. You know and I know this is just a stall tactic. That's all it is through the November elections. Everybody knows it. See, that's the thing. The Democrats and the Republicans are dug into where they're at. But it's going to be up to the people. So the people got got to think smart and then vote no on all the puzzles. That's all I got, Bob. Okay. Thanks, John. Thanks for calling in. Bye-bye. Uh, okay, we went a little bit off of uh, the uh, towing contract, but uh, John always gives us his wisdom on some of that. Okay, Curtis, Curtis, you're on with uh, Bob Ficano and with uh, uh, Commissioner Willie uh, <laughs> Burton. Okay, uh, good. I, I, I got a couple of questions. First of all, to the commissioner, Detroit police being in the towing business is nothing new. Back in the 70s and early 80s, Detroit police had tow trucks and towed. 
and they used the police toll first, and if the police toll wasn't available, then we called the private toll. So, one, that's nothing new. Those are facts. Two, I've been to several police commissioners' meetings in the last two years because the police commission or the city licensed the tow truck drivers, and part of the fee goes back to the city. I've been in several police commission meetings with Commissioner Bell sitting there where towers were suspended because they owed hundreds of thousands of dollars in towing fees to the city. And they were trying to get their license back to tow because they t- took people's cars, charged them exorbitant fees, and didn't give the city their share. Now, the commissioner was sitting right there at those meetings when those tow truck owners was begging, we would pay the money now. One guy owed $200,000 in fees, and he told the commissioners, I'm willing to pay right now, and they turned him down. So what I'm saying you know, to you, you is know, that, you know, yeah. uh, you know, you um, know, I, I, you know, what I want to add to that is that, you know, you got a lot of tow companies, you know, that does pay their admin fees. I just um, said they didn't. I said, I said that some tow companies owed you, the city. No, I, I don't know about owed you. <laughs> you know, maybe the city, you talking about the city of Detroit for as admin fees. I don't know about owing you. And you were sitting right there when, the they, when they trying to get their license. I don't care about towing, but I do believe in being fair and compliant um, that the city of Detroit should operate and should follow. And you know, and when something stinks, it stinks, and um, and and it leaves an odor. And is it right to my now, knowledge that civilian employees in the city are... of Detroit? It stinks, and the city of Detroit. A civilian so a Detroit, employees to the tow truck. Yes or no? To the um, towing business. Are the city employees are, are civilian employees driving the tow trucks? Yes or no? I I don't well, know. Has that been know. determined yet, Curtis? Yes. Curtis. Curtis, I, I got a question for you. Time when city council are being deceived, so the board of police commissioners are being, you know, misinformed, and, and been told people are trying to push for a media vote. It doesn't sound right, my friend. And yeah. uh, once again, when it stinks, it stinks. The odor, it it, it follows. And this Please, right here I'm stinks. You, am I the police you? department has enough on its hands trying to curb Detroit's violence. Internet Am I telling the truth? Business. Am I telling the truth? Curtis, 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 and Willie, what? It's going to be a lot of uh, tours. Am uh, I telling the truth? I'm asking. Curtis, you. Curtis, Curtis, let me let me ask you this. There's been a lot of pushback that they want to see black businesses be able to start to to thrive and to grow up in the city. Wouldn't this be an opportunity for African American businesses to get into the tow business and to actually uh, participate? instead of having the municipality do it. I agree. And I, I agree. I'm not a dis- listen. I'm not disagreeing is, I don't, with I don't, nothing. I don't, All I'm I don't saying is the facts is a, are I don't the city think of Detroit about, um, skin color, whether it's African American or, or or Caucasian business, you know, um inner you know, um you know, or anything of that nature. But I w- what I will think about it I what I will say is this that Detroit Police Department has enough on its hands for as I agree. violent trying to, you know, solve violence and, you know, and fix things here. And what I'm Detroit, asking you, Detroit please. is still one of the most dangerous questions. cities you in are America. Are the, you know, are the civilian employees that, having a tow truck, yes or no? Well, we ha- I can't, you know, we yeah, have to. I don't think that's been determined yet, has it? Or and maybe it has, but... I don't know if that plan's been laid out yet. Actually, what they're going to do in front of the city council? Hold on. What was the original question? I can't. I mean, it seems like we're going from question to question. What was the original question? I think Willie, the original uh, question, and we're getting up onto a break here, is whether there's going in the plan with Detroit PD towing the ca- uh, the cars. Uh, are they civilians and not police officers that will be driving the trucks? Is that right, Curtis? That is correct. Sir. Okay. Let me let me weigh in real quick, gentlemen. Any time the police, the police board of commissioners receive an email saying that uh, Detroit Police Department, um, you know, is entering the towing business and there's going to be a presentation, and then we want the full board to vote on this, we don't even have enough information. We don't even know if it's the best practice or procedures. And like I stated before, um, 
you know, we, the Board of Police Commissioners, have set this aside for at least 30 days prior to um, weighing in on this. My colleagues, you know, uh, not to throw, throw them under the bus here, but, hey, they wanted to vote on this right away. And I, and I think that when you look in at best practices, best procedures, you know, those, those matters take time. And if there's any discussions privately or secretly that's going on on towing, uh, I think that's a big issue. And then following, let's go for a, a media vote. No, that's not how things are done here. And like, um, and for that type of behavior to take place, Don King once said, "Only in America." Because the thing about it, this is preposterous. Once again, if it stinks, it stinks. Towing right here. Um, and, you know, it's okay. right here with the state well, 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 Curtis, the business, taking up. I'm not an advocate. Okay, Curtis and Willie, we, we, ha- we have to go to we have to go to break here. Curtis, thanks for calling in. Willie, uh, hold on. we got a number of other callers here. With almost 700,000 residents depending on clean water, we deliver. We do it every day. We're the Detroit Water and Sewage Department working for you. We like helping people. We like solving problems. We're making a difference because this is our city. If you have a water question, call us at 313-267-8000. Enjoy the clean water our employees deliver to you every day. It's what we do. DWSD. Clean water. Delivered. I knew I could get myself out of this. I just needed some hope and some help. I took the first step to recovery when I made the call. Since 2014, Addiction Hope and Helpline has answered calls for recovery and treatment 24-7, 365 days a year. If you're depressed, drinking, using drugs, or taking pills, call now and talk to someone who cares. I had problems just getting to sleep, drinking, and using pills every night. I feel like I'm losing control. I'm afraid I'll lose my job or even my family. Most insurance covers substance abuse. You can get back on track. Call now for hope and help with proven gentle recovery programs. I never thought that I could be somebody who didn't drink and use drugs. I have something to hold on to for strength. I'm in recovery, getting the help I need. Call 800-379-4799, 800-379-4799. 910 AM Superstation. We're the hottest station in town. Why? Because when it happens, we talk about it. And I mean, one of the things that I discovered, as I said, with the counterfeiting cases is there's a level of regulation that most people don't know and don't understand. But the second you decide that you're going to try and use your home printer to counterfeit United States currency, the government knows about it. You're going to end up getting busted. And folks think that they've got privacy. And they're like, oh, how on earth are you able to access that? I did that in the privacy of my own basement with a machine that I bought. You bought a machine that's heavily regulated by the United States government. And they regulate it simply to make sure that you don't print money in your basement. There are plenty of people. People that instead of printing money, they'll turn around and try and print out fake checks and credit cards and things like that. And they've got to know the printers that you use are heavily regulated and the technology is going to tell on you. And, and the same thing is going to turn out happening with these 3D printers. It, they're going to wind up being heavily regulated and the technology is going to tell on you if you are trying to commit a crime. 910 AM Superstation. We are the future of radio. Who's the future of radio? We are. Who has the hot takes and best calls? We do. And where do you go to get the breaking news and expert opinion? Would they look at the latest news headline at the top of the hour? None other than 910 AM Superstation. We've got you covered from sunup to sundown during the week with Greg Davis. Hey, this is Bishop Greg Davis. Carrie Jackson. Nolan Finley, Jack Lessonberry, Bankalay Thompson, the Reverend Al Sharpton. Do you know what time it is? It's Al Sharpton's time. And Sam Riddle. And don't forget to listen to Henry Payne, Elena Herrera, and Angela Moore. Hello, this is Angela Moore. Please join me on Empowered every Sunday from 3 to 5 p.m. It's the greatest collection of minds on the radio, and they can only be found in one place. None other than 910 AM Superstation. The future of radio. 910 AM Superstation is in a league of its own. We are the only talk radio station in the metro Detroit area sensitive to the African-American community. 
Make sure you join us on what station? 910 AM, the Superstation. 910 AM. 910 AM. On 910 AM, Superstation. 910 AM, Superstation. Metro Detroit's only African-American-based talk radio station. Okay, so Sarah, I'm dropping you off at Emily's? Yep. And Josh, you're going to? Soccer, Dad. Soccer practice. Right. Oh, by the way, I just wanted to let you know when I pick you both up, I'll be wearing my short shorts. What? No! Yep, and my dorky dad hat, and I'm going to do my dad dance for all your friends. They'll love it! Seriously? Why? Because I like my short shorts. Of course, I could be talked out of it if you guys would just buckle up your seatbelts without giving me a hard time. It's important to get your kids to buckle up for safety, no matter what it takes. And sometimes, all it takes is your parental powers of persuasion. Okay, okay, we're buckling up. See, all buckled. Good choice. I'll just have to do my dad dance at dinner time. What, what? No! Do what you have to to make sure your kids are wearing their seatbelts, even on short drives. Never give up until they buckle up. A message from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration and the Ad Council. Visit safercar.gov slash kidsbuckleup for more information. I heard on the news about that five-year-old who found his uncle's gun. The kid didn't know it was loaded. I heard on the news about that 14-year-old girl who was bullied online for like a year. She couldn't take it anymore.